to hold talks with Mexico's president, Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador. The phone call will focus on migration, security, and economic growth. Today's conversation comes as migrant crossings reach a record high. And with Title 42 set to expire next month, the U.S. and Mexico governments are endeavoring to create a partnership uh, to try and secure the southern border. Uh, but that has proven to be quite difficult. Robert Sherman joining us live from Eagle Pass, Texas, with a look at a new joint training operation. Good morning, Robert. Good morning to you, Adrian, and you can understand why these two countries are doing this because the crossings are seemingly nonstop down here. We actually just saw six migrants from Venezuela swim right across the Rio Grande River, get detained by the Texas National Guard. That's why you've seen so many law enforcement officials down here calling for more assistance from Mexico. And finally this week, we're starting to see it. The Rio Grande River hums with activity both banks. On American soil, the Texas National Guard, state troopers, border patrol and game warden, and on the other side, Mexican law enforcement. The U.S. and Mexico are participating in its first joint training operation to help secure the border. This cooperation is greatly needed. We got to work together in order to uh, achieve the mission. Sergeant Juan Maldonado with Texas DPS says this is all about improving response time to combat migrant drownings and curb illegal crossings. <laughs> Two weeks ago, international trucking between Texas and Mexico was ground to a near halt after Governor Greg Abbott ordered every truck coming into the U.S. to be thoroughly searched by state troopers. Ultimately, four Mexican governors came to the table and reached an agreement to commit to added border security in Mexico in exchange for loosened restrictions. We have the state of Coahuila. And we Texas DPS tells us this training in the Mexican state of Coahuila is the result of that. Meanwhile, on Capitol Hill, little cooperation is to be found as Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas' testimony has yielded finger-pointing, not solutions. Everyone knows that you have more people coming in than ever, and you're removing fewer people than ever, and it's because you have no plan and because it's on purpose. And so we're going to continue to see this training down here today, tomorrow. Still much more to be seen as to how all this will work. First and foremost, not every portion of the border is seeing these joint efforts between Mexico and the U.S., so law enforcement would like to see more of that. But second, the other concern is, will Mexico uphold their end of the bargain long term? Adrian. All right. Thank you to you, Robert. Uh, Nick is at the News Nation Smart Board. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.